हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ग्रामर चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन डू दिस वीडियो अ थम्स अप सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल एंड आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट ऑल माय वीडियोस नोटिफिकेशन एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द कंटेंट ऑफ द चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर examples and we will be looking around the solved exercise of subject and predicate so while studying this chapter first question comes in my mind is what is subject the part that names person place or thing we are speaking of is called subject the part of sentence which represents person place or thing we are speaking of or we are talking of is known as subject if we have to find out the subject of our sentence then we need to put the question who how where when the work of sentence is being done by noun and pronoun the major part of sentence is being done by noun and pronoun i will here i will be telling you the definition of noun and pronoun noun are the naming words of person place and thing noun are the naming word of person place and thing the words which are used at the place of noun are called pronoun the words which are used at the place of noun are called pronoun here now moving towards the example of subject so first example soham climbed the hill it is a simple sentence to find the subject we need to put the question who climbed the hill the answer will be soham and soham is our subject in the next example the moon shines brightly in this example instead of question mark we need to put full stop the moon shines brightly here the moon is our subject the main important point is that we think that a subject consists of single words but no subject can consist of more than single words in this slide there are shown three pictures with the help of their sentences in the first picture i saw a boy reading a book so instead of a boy i wrote the name rahul so quickly sentence comes in my mind that rahul is reading a book here our subject will be rahul moving towards the next picture in this picture i saw a girl is playing in a in the park so i so i gave the girl name seema so who is playing in the park seema is playing in the park and seema will become our subject moving towards the third picture in this picture i just saw students dancing in the ground so quickly sentence comes in my mind that students are dancing in the ground so here students will become our subject in the above slide there are shown three sentences with the help of the picture moving towards the first sentence rahul is reading a book in this sentence rahul is our subject reading a book is our predicate reading a book is our predicate 
In some cases, we can replace subject by using pronoun. In some cases, we can replace subject by using pronoun. Pronoun are the words which are used at the place of noun. I, you, he, she, it, you, we, they are known as the pronoun. For example, if we are asked to write an essay on our best friend, and suppose your best friend's name is Shikha Sakshi, so in the whole essay, you cannot write their name again and again. So instead of their name, you will be putting she. Or if your best friend's name is Rahul, so in the whole essay, you cannot use Rahul's name again and again. Instead of that name, you will be using he. So for the more clearance, let's see the sentences. Here in the above sentence, you can write or we can write he in place of subject Rahul. As I earlier told you that if we are if we are naming a boy like Rahul, so in place of Rahul, we need to write he. In second sentence, Seema is playing in the park. In this sentence, Seema is our subject and instead of subject, we can write she as a pronoun. Now moving towards the definition of predicate and its type. The part of sentence which gives some information or detail related to the subject is called predicate. As we all know that the sentence is being divided into two parts. First part is subject and another part is the predicate. The main work of predicate is to provide us the information or detail regarding the subject. Like what is subject doing? Where is that subject? And how is that subject? In this slide, there are shown Two sentences with the help of the picture so I will be moving towards the first sentence in this first sentence and first picture there is shown a car quickly when we just saw the picture of the car quickly it comes in our mind that like how my like how much mileage does it gives what are the qualities of this car how comfortable we will be while sitting in this car so keeping all these things or all these thoughts aside in this sentence, it is telling us that car runs on diesel. It is telling that how car runs. So, in this subject, sorry. So, in this sentence, the car will be our subject and runs on diesel or petrol will be our predicate. Moving towards the next picture in the next sentence, in this picture, it is shown that the what it is shown that the river provides us water in this sentence so our subject will be the river and provide us the water will be our predicate in the above slide there are shown two sentences with the help of the picture first sentence car runs on diesel or petrol in this sentence car will be our subject runs on diesel or petrol will be our predicate and it is telling that how car runs in the next sentence it is shown that river provides us water in this sentence river will be our subject provide us water will be our predicate in the above sentences Predicate is talking about the car and the river. Now moving towards the solved exercise, identify subject and predicate in the following sentences. 
In the first exercise, we have to identify the subject and predicate in the sentences. So in the first sentence, the sun was shining brightly. In the first sentence, the sub our subject will be the sun was shining brightly will be our predicate. In the moving towards the second sentence, my younger brother serves in the army. So in this sentence, my younger brother will be the subject and serves in the army will be the predicate. Moving towards the third sentence and the last sentence of the exercise, you don't have to read for me. In this sentence, you will be our subject and don't have to read for me will be our predicate. Moving towards the second exercise, in this exercise, we have to fill in the blanks with the subject and predicate. Whenever this question comes, keep in mind that while filling this exercise, you should know that your subject will come in the starting of the sentence and your predicate will be coming in the end of the sentence. So moving towards the first sentence, Dash works in an office, Rima works in an office. You can write any other name also, but that name, spelling, and concept should be clear and then only you will be getting your getting the marks moving towards the second sentence the dash shines in the sky dash shines in the sky sun shines in the sky my grandfather dash my grandfather is going to Delhi Ram and Sham dash Ram and Sham are good friends Ram and Sham are best friends Ram and Cham are classmates. Moving towards the next sentence. The baby is dash. The baby is sleeping. The baby is crying. The baby is play. Moving towards the next sentence. And the last sentence of this exercise. Some boys dash. Some boys are playing in the garden. Some boys are doing group study. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.